Okay, hey y'all. So I'm gonna try something different today. I'm not gonna speed it up. I'm just gonna talk and I'm gonna explain some things. This right here is Affinity Designer. Um, if you've never used it before, or it's your first time opening it, or you have it and you're a little intimidated by it, you don't really have to be. I mean, if you use other programs, um, they pretty much are like most of the most of the software all have something in common. You just gotta play around with it. So one of the things that people love to do, and this video is for my typography people or people who design and they do shirts and stuff and they like doing using names. One of the most used fonts that you know people went crazy for was the Samantha font. And if you have a Windows um computer I don't have one, but I'm trying to remember from when I did. You have a character map that you can go into your, um, where you, I guess, where you actually install your fonts, and you'll be able to see all of the characters that are attached to said font. Now, if you have a Mac, like me, you would have, um, this is font book, and as you can see, I have thousands of fonts installed. And when I look at a font, I can look here and I can see all the swooshes and, you know, I can see the, the the special glyphs that they have that go to the fonts. And like I said, for this particular, I don't know, we're going to call it demonstration. We're going to use the Samantha font. So uh, just for a reference, here is your color and my affinity designer doesn't may not look like your affinity designer because I changed it up to suit my needs these um, three sections here would usually be in this section here but I wanted to have a longer layer palette and with that you can see um, I have my styles here which the default styles I'll show you later but they're awesome uh, you have I have effects and then I have my layers panel and then over here, I keep up my stock, my glyph browser, and my character. For the purpose of colors, you have this half semi-line one is where your, um, your strokes color, and this right here would be your fill color. When you do something in Affinity Designer, for reference as well, this is your designer persona, and then you have your pixel persona as well as your expert persona. If you want to do something where you're working with SVGs or you're working with something that has to do with um, anything that's vector or DXF may probably or EPS, you'd be in the designer persona. If you're moving something into the pixel persona, it's usually rasterized or you will rasterize it and then it has its own section here where as you can see the layout is not the same for both but I can make it that way. Okay, so back to the thing. I'm going to click this, which is the, and I changed my bar. You can change your bar, set it up how you want, where you can um, add or subtract things from your toolbar that you would use all the time. And this right here is a text tool. And I'm just going to click, and I'm going to type Asia. Now, because I am um, going to duplicate this a couple times because I actually am going to do three versions. I have different versions of Samantha font on my computer. The easiest way to duplicate is either duplicate, right click in the layers and duplicate. Or if you're on a Mac, you can just press command and hold down shift. I mean, hold down on the mouse and then that's how you duplicate. And then I'm going to go in and here I can type Sam and it's going to show me all of the fonts that have connected to the Samantha font. And because I'm not exactly sure which one, I'm just going to go with, we have used here. I can click here and I can make this one italic and I can click this one and I can make this one, this one. Now, the, 
point to this video is that if you know anything about the Samantha font, you know that, and this is the um, the Glyph browser, if you know anything about the Samantha font is that one of the biggest draws to it is the fact that you can change the way the A's look or it has like, it, it, it has swishes and it has like loops and curls and it looks dainty and you could you might want to use those in wedding invitations or you might want to do somebody's name on a shirt and it was just their name and you wanted to be um leading and you wanted to go across their whole chest or you wanted you know whatever um you can think of with this particular thing if i click on this and i'm looking in the glyph browser i can scroll within this particular font and I can see let's see if there's any A's that I like that's not an A say let's just bring this over here for right now okay, so I have a little bigger window And I want this A to be and I'm just randomly picking things from outside of the glyph browser. But as you can see, I just changed up how Asia looks or how this Asia looks just in a couple of clicks. Now let's say for instance right now we have this one. And I want to change the same thing. I want to go and I want to change the A. And I want to change this one. Or let's see. The S is this as here. Let's look at these down here. Are there any other swishes or that I'm liking? Let's shrink it a little bit so we can see the difference. Curious. Oh, it just cuts it off. Okay, and then with this one, we're going to highlight this part of the A. And let's look in the browser and see if there's anything that we like. For this particular one, I think I'm just going to leave it with the A. But as you can see, this is three Samantha font versions. But like I said, I have different versions of Samantha font. Um, and I changed up the look of it by just doing some clicks inside of the Glyph browser. This is, um, if you have an iPad and you have the designer app on it and you mainly, like I used to, mainly design on your iPad and you want to do names real quickly, this is an awesome thing for you to have. Because, like I said, you can install your fonts on your iPad with iFont or any font. And then when you bring it into the um, designer, you can... Write out the name that you want and then go through the glyphs browser and see what you can do to change up how your design is going to come out. And, you know, they have the swishes, they have the hearts. I mean, when you look on Creative Fabrica and you see the different fonts and they have all these different, like, 
they show you some of them, but sometimes you have to actually go in and play around. You'll see all different kinds of like characters that you can use, and maybe it'll be something that you want to play with. Um, like I said, this is not a video that I'm going to speed up because I'm just talking, and this is for me. This is me trying to do a video for people who are just brand new to Affinity Designer, or they want to make something and or well, they're brand new to Finny Designer and they want to make something and then port it into their Cricut and then cut it out because they've already designed it here. They could just, you know. So I hope that helps. And sorry for rambling. Lady y'all.